Since Mark Price retired from basketball in 1998, Atlanta's been his home. This season, it's also been his office as he joined the staff of Hawks head coach Mike Woodson, teaching some of the skills he mastered during his NBA career. He hasn't taken a shot in 11 years, but former first team all NBA player Mark Price has certainly found his range as a shooting consultant for the Atlanta Hawks. A perfect fit for the four-time All-Star. It's obviously a very important part of the game. Got to make shots to, uh, to win games, and so uh, whether it be just regular shots or free throws or three-point shooting, just depending on what each individual kind of needs, I'm just here to kind of work with as many guys as I can to try to help improve. He keeps the people's confidence there, and you know, I mean, you, you always go to him you know, in any kind of situation when one of the best point guards you know, to play the game, so, you know, anything he has, any advice he has, you got to listen to. And the advice Price has passed on is stuff he learned growing up in a basketball family, where his father, Denny Price, was an assistant coach with the Phoenix Suns. It helped me tremendously. Obviously, I wasn't, uh, you know, the biggest guy in the world for a basketball player, so I had to have good skills, and having a dad as a coach obviously helped. I was around the game a lot growing up, and I was able to watch and learn and, and also uh, get taught from my father. Mark is one of the best players that's ever played in our game, playing that point position, and one of the best shooters that's played in our game. So to have him on staff and be able to work with our players uh, and my coaching staff uh, is huge. But at one time, some basketball critics said the six-foot guard was too short and slow to succeed at the NBA level. In fact, come draft day, Mark Price wasn't selected until the second round. But when it was all said and done, he ended up in Cleveland, where his career took off. It was a great experience. I was able to, uh, you know, once again come into a, a team that was building something. Uh, we had uh, five rookies my first year, guys like Brad Doherty, Ron Harper, myself. And we were able to, uh, you know, build a, build a franchise that was uh, competitive for a championship year in, year out. Mark was one of the best point guards uh, that I've ever seen. Probably underrated, you know, historically in the NBA. Incredible shooter, but quicker and faster than anybody really gave him credit for. Uh, amazing feel for the game. I mean, he was he was phenomenal. It was a blessing for a big guy because you know if he asks you to run a court, he gonna get you the ball. And, you know, it was always good for me because every time I run a court, I got an easy layup. And you know, he's just one of those point guards that was respected around the league, and you know, he knew the game. In 12 NBA seasons, Mark Price averaged just under 16 points per game. But for the Oklahoma native, it all began here at Alexander Memorial Coliseum where he helped lead the Yellow Jackets deep into multiple NCAA tournament appearances. It was uh, you know, a tremendous help for me. One, playing in the ACC uh, gave me a lot of exposure as a player and allowed me to get, kind of get on the radar screen of the NBA teams. I love Mark Price. Um, for me to have the opportunity to coach Mark Price, I've said this many times, it had to be godsend. Um, Enid, Oklahoma, I, didn't know where, I, I barely knew where the state of Oklahoma was, never mind Enid. He's a wonderful, wonderful young man and a great basketball player. Now it's assisting others that Mark Price does, contributing to another all-star career. We have a little time. Why don't you tell the audience about the, how you got the footage for that last story? Well, when I, was, interesting. when I was about 11 years old, I had my VCR rolling with Mark Price, and you know, I, I taped a bunch of his games. He was probably one of my childhood heroes you know, growing up. So. And now you got to meet him again. And now I got a chance to, you know, meet him. So whenever you can meet your childhood hero, it's a little, it's, you know, it's definitely another story in itself. That is so cool. Right. All right. Thanks, JB. Let's head over to Cedric Haynes for a final check on weather. Cedric? And JB, that, that's just what dreams are made of. That's just <laughs> one of those life-touching moments right there. That, is, that was some beautiful stuff there, JB. I'm, I'm very happy that you got to meet your childhood hero. I know that was very important for you. But hey, my childhood hero is spring, and the spring countdown clock finally was able to tick to zero today.